Hey guys, it's Bella Carfagna and I'm here with our head gelato chef, Mark Marinelli. Hi guys, um, so right now today we're making our tiramisu gelato. It's one of our big sellers and I'm going to run you through some of the, uh, the ingredients we use, some of the specialty stuff, our import items and all that. First I want to start off with our sugar, right? This is just some cane sugar. I, I really prefer to use cane sugar over beet sugar uh, and dextrose too. And that's going to go in there. Then we're gonna to top this off with a cold processed uh, dried non-fat milk powder. This is really more to bring out creaminess and make it you know, a more stable or emulsified product. This is the first one of our Stella products. Uh, we get these products imported from Italy. A uh, big uh, thing that we like to do here is to use a lot of the Italian products, Italian machinery, uh, because we're really trying to not necessarily imitate, but replicate that same type of experience that you get when you go to Italy and you try gelato. And Bella, she was trained by a, an Italian woman <laughs> to do gelato, and so she passed all of that stuff down to me. Uh, and now I'm making it, and I make it for Carfagnas. Another thing I'd like to bring up is our Hartzler's milk, right? It's a family-owned farm out of Worcester, right? And it's, it's probably some of the best, if not the best, milk that you can get in Ohio, especially at grocery stores. It's phenomenal. Do you know why it's one of the best milks? Uh, it's a grass-fed milk. That's a big reason. It's not as homogenized as most other milks. You get a little more of that natural separation, which we like. It's a lot more milk flavor. And it's really good for flavors like Fiorda Latte and all that. Keeps a lot of the natural cream in it the way they pasteurize it. It's a very slow pasteurization and it makes one of the best ones. One of the great things about it is that if you have stomach issues, it actually is a good milk to drink because it keeps a lot of that probiotics in it because of the pasteurization and you usually don't have as much lactose issues with it which also is great because that goes into our ice cream and actually a lot of people that do have lactose problems like there's a few people in my family and they're able to eat this gelato and not have very many issues at all when eating it so it's definitely a plus we already got our cream and our uh, our Hertzlers in here and i'm going to add in our uh, first stella product here now this is the uh the primary mix for gelato and it's just an emulsifier it's a blend of uh, different powders and sweeteners um, and it really gives that creamy texture the main contributor to that texture. Um, another thing we're really proud about here is our pastes, our Stella paste. It's the same Italian brand. Uh, this is our tiramisu paste, and it's a blend of coffee and, and milk powders and, you know, uh, Marsala wines in this too. And it's really just kind of like taking a slice of tiramisu and just putting it in your mouth. It's all of that in one. Um, but it's really good. We're gonna put it in here right now. We use all natural products, and um, that is one of these things with the tiramisu paste. And we also have pistachio paste. That's one of the one things that will differentiate us from a lot of ice creams, because we use like natural pistachio paste, and it's kind of more of like a, it's still green, but there's still more of a brown natural tint to that. Uh, and the big reason is because most uh, companies, ice cream brands, they'll just use coloring and maybe almond extract. So it's a little bit more of that really authentic uh, experience eating pistachio ice cream here. Um, so right now, we're gonna blend this up and then we're gonna dump it in the machine. It's gonna pasteurize to um, 87 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna cool it back down and we'll put it in a pan and we'll top it off with some chocolate powder. Drop this in here, nice and slowly. We don't want to splash. And what are you doing on that chamber? What's right, so happen? this is going to be our pasteurization chamber. It's going to heat the milk up to 87 degrees Celsius. Uh, so in there, we got all stainless steel and bronze cast parts. So it's all food safe. It's all nice and clean and stable. It's probably some of the best material that you can make a machine like this out of. But then we're gonna we're gonna heat it up. We're gonna turn a knob, press our button. It should be ready in about 20, 25 minutes from now, and then we'll drop it into our freezer. And that's one difference you might get from ice cream. A lot of places won't actually use the pasteurization process on top. They kind of just mix all the cold ingredients together and whip it. And another di difference between ice cream and gelato is the way it whips. So when we're done, it's going to drop down into this chamber, which is your freezer chamber. And you, here you can see there's three different settings. 
Now this is not freezing at all. The setting is going to whip it at a lot faster pace. So if we were to make American ice cream, we would use this setting. It actually whips a lot more air into it, making the product a little bit harder and a lot more fluffier, but it doesn't give it the creaminess that gelato has. And that is when you're whipped at a very slower pace while it's being freezed, but frozen, sorry. I guess tune back in in a minute and you'll see. All right, so it's down to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. We're gonna put a design on it and then we're gonna sprinkle with some cocoa powder. We're gonna reach in here. Um, these spatulas too, they're also from Stella Company. This is what they're gonna use in Italy as well. Really, really trying to do everything we can here. Just gonna get it out nice and slowly. Close our gate here. So the first thing we want to do here is just level it out. We're just going to go back and forth. Make sure all the corners are filled in nice and even. So we typically have, I mean, several different designs we'll have on these. Uh, the most common one is just going to be side to side. And that's going to be on most flavors just because it works well with the consistency. Uh, the other option is we could just go edge to edge. And that's probably one of my favorites. And then probably my favorite one to do of all. I'm gonna flat it out this one last time. I'm just gonna do really tight waves. Scrape off the excess. And then we're just gonna start up top, drag the gelato, and then forward and backward again forward and backward again. This is probably one of my favorite designs. You see it a lot on uh, strawberry gelato, uh, pistachio, and toasted almond as well. Toasted almond's probably one of my favorites. Um, Termis is a close second, but I feel like toasted almond's a little bit underrated. That's a nice, smooth, clean flavor. I'm just gonna clean up the surfaces here. We're gonna put on our final touch here. This is our cocoa powder. It's also from Stella. This is a super duper high quality cocoa powder. It comes vacuum sealed, so we get the best freshness we possibly can. So I'm just gonna gently want it nice and even. We don't want any clumps of cocoa powder. All right, we're gonna pop this back into the blast freezer and we're gonna let it set for about 10 or so minutes. Uh, then we're gonna package it up and then bring it up to the front so they can go ahead and sell. Thanks for coming in, everybody.